The way that you do these apparently with the stainless steel tubes is they actually stainless steel weld a dart on the end with a tube end's profile in such a way that you get a, a loop for the steam. I've got to join these two pipes because I can't bend them to make the loop. I've not got facility for stainless steel welding. So how I'm going to go about it then, I'm going to mechanically fix them by using a thread. So I'll show you this drawing that I've come up with and I've done a few prototypes just to make sure this, this is going to work okay. So I'm calling this an adapter for the want of a better word. And what, what I'm doing, I'm using some 303 hexagonal stainless which is 600 across flats, 0.600 thousandths across flats. Because everything's a tight squeeze up the boiler tubes, all the dimensions have got to be spot on or, or it's not going to work out. So this drawer in here then, I'm going to drill, or I have, I've drilled at three and a half degrees in the, in the end of this 303 stainless hexagon tube, uh, hexagon solid, sorry. I've drilled for 1.3 inches down so that they meet in, in the middle at the bottom of the hole. So that's allowing a passage for steam to come round and then back out. And then I've tapped it quarter by 32 thread for quarter stainless steel tubing. Now when I've done all that, which is here, I suddenly thought, is quarter stainless steel tubing big enough? Because will it allow the quantity of steam that, that I need? And I, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. So I've put, applied my logic to this and I've worked out the cross section of my steam header tube and that came to a cross section of 0 0.066 inches squared so there's just one tube with that cross section and when I worked it out for the stainless tube bore so you've got two of them the both the tubes came to 0 0.045 inches squared cross section which is less than my steam header tube so I don't know if that matters or not so just to be on to air outside of caution I worked it out for 5 sixteenths tubing and that came to 0 0.078 inches squared which is just above my steam header tool so that is more than adequate for the steam that's coming from the boiler there'll be no bottleneck of steam so after I've made this quarter one I decided to make one in 5 sixteenths and because I've gone up a size obviously I can't go up a size in this adapter because I ain't got the room in my boiler tube so everything becomes a very tight fit with these dimensions so if you're going to use 5 sixteenths or if you're going to have a try at this you must be very careful with your dimensions when you're drilling them holes and just quickly that's the cross section of the stainless I've used from the centre line for the quarter tubing I moved over 0.156 each way to drill my holes and that gave that more or less split the difference on, on all the three in the centre and both the ends so when I'm using the bigger tube you've got less room to work with. So what you've got to do, you've got to move that dimension over to 0.166 thou each side. That way you're coming closer to this edge but you're allowing yourself enough in the middle to put the bigger tubing in. And I've tapped them 5 sixteenths by 32. And my prototypes worked out okay. So this is the bigger one in 5 sixteenths. I just managed to get that thread in that adapter. So I'm going to screw them fully home and mechanically fix them and then I'm going to silver braze them just to belt and brace them that's the one I've done, I've brazed that up and that's just enough room to get down my boiler tube so I'll move over to the boiler then and I'll show you this in real life but before I do I did come up with another method which might be of interest to somebody and that's to make an adapter with parallel holes in and all you do you drill down halfway and you drill up halfway to meet them with a bigger hole, put a bung in, put a plug in, so far up, leave a bit of a cavity then, then the steam can hit the, hit the plug and back up. So that's another method, but not my preferred method. Right here we are then, so this is the header that I was talking about that bolts onto the front of the boiler and it's got two 45 degree angled holes coming off at the bottom that go to the cylinders. So if you're putting superheater in that don't apply anymore and you've got to make this superheater then that fits up the boiler tube one on each side like that and then you're going to take from your wet header to one of the stainless tubes steam going up the boiler then back down then this will pick up and come to your cylinders down here this other tube and the same on that side 
So you can see how limited it is for space. And I can just manage to get that adapter up that tool with these 5 sixteenths 5 16 stainless tubes fixed to it. So I'll take it to the other side of the boiler and then we'll have a look at that. Into the firebox. Right then I'm over up firebox now and you can just see where that adapter is coming through with them two superheated tubes on. Show me torch. That better. I put them two cutouts in the back for my superheaters to come through. So that's what they were for if you, if you take a look back at that. I've now got to go make all the adapters and etc for the other end to go to my cylinders so I'll probably do that in another part then. Anyway, thanks for watching then and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.